What is up, my squirtle lights? It is I, your king, welcoming back to more NFL Street. In the last episode, we were able to take down the NFC East All-Stars. Also took down a challenge where we had to beat the Bears by 20 in a game to 30. Got myself some impact pads that have now maxed out Freight Train's tackling stat. So he should be very, very hard to shake off from now on. That tackling better uh, bear fruit here in the future. Now... We're going to be doing some 480 development point challenges today. I'm going to be trying to go through all of the simplest ones as we make our way through here. So come back from a 60-point deficit and win. Uh, first three drives without throwing an interception or losing a fumble to the Browns. These are all very doable. I think we'll do this one first, and then I think I'll do the one against the Ravens second, the deficit one. Um, these two will probably take the entire course of the episode, but that's okay. This is going to be a couple episodes getting through all these. I think I made the mistake of acting as though I was going to be able to get... Uh, all five of these challenges done in this episode. That's not happening. That's not happening. It's going to take a few, a couple episodes, but we are obviously saving the big one, if you remember what that challenge is. We are saving the big one for uh, the last episode before we take on the AFC uh, South ladder, which is coming. It's coming. Oh, it's coming. All right. There we go. I was hoping I could get one more broken tackle there, but a couple break, broken tackles is good enough. So I can't throw any interceptions or fumble the ball at all. With that in mind, my plan here is to basically just run. I am not even going to try to chance uh, passing it uh, if I can help it unless I'm in an absolutely de desperate situation. So, yeah, let's just uh, keep with the run here. We have to score on every possession, though. If we don't, we are in trouble. And obviously, I don't think it matters what we do on defense, but as long as I score, I'm good. Beautiful. All right. So, no score threshold to get to. Oh, man, I can't believe I did that. That was kind of dumb. It's okay. Just play a standard defense here. It doesn't really matter what happens. If I can get fumbles or interceptions, that's great and all, but it's not really the goal here. There we go. That's a big loss. I will take it. All right, now they are definitely going to try to run here. Let's we'll see if Train, uh, with his newfound tackling stat, can't give do me some good here. And he does, with a safety. I will take it. All right, back to it. So no fumbles, no interceptions. That is the name of the game here. Perfect. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Run out, out of their way. Oh, come on. If you could have broken one more beast. One more Gosh dang it, we're getting a lot of Game Breaker points from this too. And I'm not even like using style like at all for this. I'm just taking what I can get, playing this as conservatively as possible. It's working great so far, although I'll take that one just for a little bit of extra Game Breaker. So we can get this as quickly as possible. And I think I might, as well, I might end up just using the offensive Game Breaker, assuming I don't take too long to actually get this. But here we go. All right. This is working out pretty well so far. It could all go up in flames here in a second, though. You never know. Although I am getting pretty confident. Obviously, don't want to. It's not over till the fat lady sings. It's not over till the fat lady sings. Are they going to go with the? Nope. They're just going to let. I was almost going to get the safety there. I'll take. Oh! <laughs> okay, Eddie with the flying save out of nowhere. That was a freaking glorious. Thank you. And there it is. We got the game breaker, but it doesn't matter because game is over. All right. There's the first 480. So we're going to be, like I said, we're doing five of these. So we're going to be getting about, what is that? Five, what is, I can't do the math in my head right now. 2,400 development points. Eh, it's pretty good. Um, it's definitely going to fit my needs for what I actually still have left to do, honestly. So, all right. So let's see. Now we got to come back from a 16 point deficit. We do start with the ball, though which is why I'm not too worried about this. Um, I wouldn't even be worried regardless, but because 16 point deficit is not that difficult, honestly. Unless I, you know, jump too early for the catch, that was a little bit silly. Let's uh, try that again, but with more feeling. Let's try an out crosses. There you go, picky six. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So my plan is, my plan with what development points we do have is to max out Eddie's uh, speed and catching stats, as well as, um, oh, come on, catch that, please. Thank you. Can we get up again? That would be awesome. We got a little bit more yardage out of that. Yeah, it's to max out Eddie's uh, speed and catching stats, add a little bit of carrying to everyone across the board so they're not fumbling it in stupid situations, and then... Uh, what was the other thing I had? Oh, there, I think there was like another stat I wanted to max out. I think that was on Beast, if I'm not mistaken. 
Uh, but what I'm essentially going to do is I'm going to avoid spending anything on six uh, with what we have. This is going to be less development points than we had going into last time, unfortunately. But whatever. We'll take it. And hey, that's nice. That's uh, We're already basically there. I am just going to be doing the one-point conversions right now because I am not one to tempt fate at the moment. They have zero game breaker points. I mean, this is already just a massive blowout. All right, truck. Keep at it. Can you get in there? Get that sack. Eddie, thank you. We'll take that. Oh, okay. I mean, I can break all the tackles in the world, too, if you want me to. Wow, this one is really, really easy for what is supposed to be an amazing defense. Even that play I used, even that style thing I used was called too easy. All right, well, let's see if we can't get our one two-point conversion now. Thank you. All right, now we just need to get one-point conversions for the rest of this. Let's turn that ball over quick. Are we just going to absolutely shut them down for this? That would be amazing. I have never, you know what's something I've never done? Is, is held the team to a zero game breaker. Like, if I can hold them to zero game breaker points this entire time, that would be freaking incredible. Absolutely incredible. Let's, I mean, we only need one more turnover to do it. So let's see. Let's see if it's possible. This has been uh, just an absolute ass blasting. Oh my gosh, we're going to do it. As long as I don't get uh, I don't get sacked behind the line or a single or even the, the ball gets batted, any of that stuff, as long as none of that happens, I will actually hold them to zero game breaker points. Why is this AI in this particular challenge so easy? Like, this is just absurd. I am having the easiest time in this one. All right, Eddie. Oh, they did bat it. Oh, they're going to get points. No, I got too greedy. Oh, I was really hoping to shut them out in that department. Oh, that would have been amazing. That would have been honestly amazing. All right, I'm going to call posts here. Here we go. Oh, wow. You did not. I was going to say, are you going to block him? And then that is game. Beautiful. And what indeed. Another 480 development points. We got time to do another challenge, so let's do it. Keep such an I, I think I think this other the one in the middle here I don't want to do. It seemed a little bit on the absurd side. Yeah, two rushing and two pass. I mean, it's very doable, honestly. Very doable, but it's also a little bit more uh testy, I should say. So let's see. Beat the Saints by 20 in a game to 36. That's doable. One rushing touch. Yeah, let's do that one. That one's probably more doable. This will be, the, I think, the last challenge of the episode. This is honestly even easier than the Bears one we did where we had to beat them by 20 to 30. So we have to just prevent the Saints from getting 16 points, basically. Or more than 16 points, I guess. So, yeah, that should be doable. Why was that an instant? Okay, well, never mind. Not if that crap happens. Really? Can we not tackle? Well, you know what? I'm just going to restart the challenge if that's how it's going to go right from the get-go. There's no point in that. I'm not going to waste my time trying to defend it. That was just silly. I was really hoping I could defend that a little bit better. I might go back for that Steelers one. I don't know. I, I, I kind of do want to look at some of the challenges that are available to me in the... Um, oh, that was a risky one. I kind of want to look at my, the challenges available to me in the AFC South because we haven't really looked at those more than just kind of in the, our last challenge run. So it would be worth at least trying to see if there's anything good there. So, yeah, I'm definitely planning on doing that. Oh, man, come on. Break those tackles. Break those tackles, beast. I know you can do it. This time we are just going to run into the side. Get that. Thank you. Get the little extra bonus there. We're going to 36, so we need to play this like it's a normal game. There we go. Oh, what the heck? I was really hoping. Because I didn't see his secondary follow him, but I guess it was kind of a bad route, considering he had to run right up through the offensive line. Come on. There we go. There we go. Get that. Thank you. So are they running with their... Is there running back in this one? Uh, they, he is, but he's lined up at receiver for some reason. That's really weird. I mean, I, I don't know what the purpose of that is, but okay. Why would you run Stallworth at running back? I don't get that one at all. Is this because Joe Horn's their only good receiver? I would assume is the reasoning, but... And look who can actually tackle with 100% consistency now. That is just wonderful. Big difference maker, honestly. Come on. There you go. Get him. Oh, perfect. Didn't get the QB crunch, but whatever. It is a, it is a stop nonetheless, and I accidentally selected the wrong play again. 
Okay. I thought I got that off in time, but evidently I didn't. All right, I got ground to make up. Here we go. Don't you dare. That's good. That's good. That actually uh, covered a lot of ground there. I'm going to go the other side. Hold on. Going this way. Never mind. Get. Oh, my gosh. Come on. You can get in. I know you can. Um, yeah, let's just do it like this. We're just going to. Yeah, we, th no one will stop us. No one will stop us here. We got it. Whew. Okay. That was really stressful. All right. Let's try this again. Come on, Eddie. Thank you. Barely managed to thread that in there. All right, now, let's continue to try to play super tight defense here. Oh, well, apparently he can't tackle if I'm not using him, though, because that was just sad to watch. Come on, Train. I believe in you with your hazard sign shoulder pads. Come on, get in there. There it is. That's some good coverage. We're doing good. We're doing good. This is so far going well. Not amazingly, it could go per it could go better, but it is going well. All right, for this last play, I'm going to go with I Spy cuz I do not trust whatever comes out of this one. And that is a very good safety net play. Speaking of safeties, there we go. All right, back to passing it. I am going to go with curl and post. So we're going to try to hit Eddie on the post here if possible, or he could just drop it. Immediately, got hit too hard. All right, now it's hit. Uh, uh, let's do another one. Let's try another one here. Come on, get open, get open, get open. Why did you lean into that like that, Schmo? I don't understand what the purpose of that was at all, but that did not go well. I had to throw it there because I was about to get safety. All right, I, ha I have to go for a pass play here. Here we go. This is all for all the marbles. No! Uh, I hate everything. Why? The one guy that I... Gosh dang it. That was just... It was bad decision making on my part, but at the same time... Gosh dang it, man. Get him, please. There we go. Good coverage. Again, we need to play a really tight defense here. Uh, that was so silly. I should have just run it. I'm not going to pass it. Passes, passing game. That's where my struggles are, is the pass game with this offense. It just doesn't cut it. There is no way that they are not running this immediately. So here we go. Get him. Ugh, gosh dang it. All right. Well, so we still need to stop just another 10 points, which is very doable. That's still two possessions. I, if I can do this correctly. Oh my gosh, train. Okay. Well, tackling isn't perfect because sometimes the game just decides no, no, it's not going to work. Because, you know, sometimes the game just do be like that. I was really hoping to get a stiff arm in there, but apparently it wasn't good enough. All right, here we go. There's a, there's a good one. Don't fall over next to the wall. Thank you. Good broken tackle. Beast! That's what I'm talking about, and we almost got Game Breaker now. We should have it if we score on this drive. I just want that little extra yardage. Get me in there. Thank you. Play conservative. Now I can just go for a uh, single one-point conversions by just diving in because there's no way they can stop that. The momentum is too good. Game breaker time. Let's turn that ball over. Please don't get a safety. Please get an actual defensive touchdown here. Come on. That's what that we'll take that. We'll take that. We'll take that. That works. Defensive touchdown. Touchdown on the next position. I don't care. Either way, it's fine. And we are going to just figure hate our way in. If I can get one, I just need a single one point conversion between this and the next touchdown, and it is, yep, okay. So one more touchdown and we win. One more touchdown to their two scores. So we basically got it at this point. And then we can call this an episode. Come on. Train, you gotta tackle better than that, bro. That's more like it. That's more like it. Much better. Much, 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 much better. We did actually make them lose yardage there, too. Oh, come on. All right. Well, that's just stupid. Shoestring tackle. All right. I know. I'm only calling lockdown. Lockdown, 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 lockdown. Probably should be going with man up a little bit more. Gosh dang it. Fumble that sucker. Pick it up. Thank you, train. I'm glad he got actually tackled out of bounds because I don't trust him when he picks that up. We still have his carrying at one, so... 
Oh, there we go. There we go. This is game. This is game. This is game. Hold on. Let's do a one we don't really do all that often. Yeah. Raise it up. Quick six. And there we go. 480 development points. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this episode of NFL Street. Thank you all so very much for watching. Next episode, we're going to do two more challenges as we gear up for the last one. I'm going to try to head on back over to the AFC South, see if there's any good ones to complete in there. And then the episode after that, it's the big boy. It's the marathon. I hope you're all looking forward to that. I'll see you all in the next one.